Hello, this is LJ Bothell with a Microsoft PowerPoint overview of animations. So I've got a basic slideshow of four slides ready to go here. And what we're going to do is look at how you can animate specific things on a specific slide. Transitions is about going from slide to slide. And as you look at the preview of the slideshow over here, you'll see these little play animation icons. These mean that these have transitions to go from slide to slide. They have nothing to do with whether or not there's an animation within a specific slide to animate text or shapes or something else. So what we're going to do is we're going to move to slide two here, where I would like to bring this text in one line at a time. And we're going to move to the animations ribbon. And everything is grayed out until I actually select on whatever placeholder box with content that I want to animate. Now, I already have an animation pane open over here, but let me close that. On the animation toolbar here, you can access the animation pane by clicking this, and you can widen it, but it will show you the priorities of what is happening in your trans uh, in your animation as you do it. Now, in the animation group, we could take a look at a lot of presets that Excel offers. And I hope that these are offered on all of the different operating systems. They may not be, but there's a few of them that are very common, like fade, fly in, float in, shape. And these are the entrance ones means that if you actually would like text to enter a certain way, or you'd like an image to enter the slide a certain way, whereas exit would be as if the text or image existed and then you wanted it to go away at a certain point or do something else. So, and you can actually mix and match these, although we'll stay very simple. Emphasis could be mostly for images and icons and things like that um, in order to make a shape, you know, whirl or enlarge and get smaller. But frankly, you can use any one of these for any effect you want. The tip I would give you is that on a given slideshow to stick with one or two core animation types. If it's if you have several slides with text that you want to bring in, decide to bring them in all the same way, regardless of what slide they're on. Have them come in all from the bottom or all from the side or all using the fly in or all using the wipe as opposed to doing a different animation for every text slide, because it gets confusing to folks if they have to kind of fight their perceptions of what they're seeing along with the content of what they're trying to get out of your slideshow. And the same thing would be images. Choose one or two course uh, animation um, styles for the way you bring in an image in, in each of the slides that have an image. That way your slideshow not only uses maybe a theme and some core colors, but a, a put together feel on the transitions and the animations. Now, what are we going to do here? We're going to see how this works. I'm going to try to bring this in by having it fly in. Now, right now, everything is going to fly in at one time. We'll deal with that in a moment. There are different directions you can have things fly in. They can fly in from the left or from the right, like this. And you can also um, come over here and choose how you're going to time them. So in this case, one of the easiest things to do, and what I'll show is just on click. And what this means is that when the slideshow is running and it gets to this slide, it will show whatever is not an animation. And then you need to start clicking your mouse or pressing your enter button or pressing an arrow button in order to bring the items in. And this could be good if you're talking in front of people and you want to make one point at a time, say a couple things about it, then bring the next point in, say a couple things about it, bring the third point in, and so on. You can also choose to do things by timing them. It's like bring in with previous. If we were to bring this in with previous, everything would come in at once. And if we did it after previous, then you might click the first one. And then afterwards, the others would come in with a time delay that you set it up that way. We're going to stick with on click because that should be the simplest. 
And let's go ahead and run this particular slide by going down to our status bar and running the slideshow by clicking the icon and come in. <clears throat> and what we've got here is we've transitioned a page in. Now we're on the page and it reads text with animation and nothing is happening. So I want to click enter. One line came in. The next line came in with the next enter. Third line and fourth line. And of course, you can continue on with your slideshow or exit when you're done. So that's one way you can do things. And that's something definitely to play with. PowerPoint is a tool to play with, to experiment with, to find out how you like to do things. I've got one thing here. Oh, and notice this. Let's, a couple more things we'll notice here. Since we're doing this on click and it'll be bringing one line in at a time, PowerPoint is determining that each of these lines or paragraphs of text, if you will, is a separate item even though it's all inside of one text box. So it's ordering these in the order of priority from the top to bottom. However, if I was to actually decide to do something like with previous, it would change this so they would be all considered the same level of priority. And same thing if I were to do with after previous. But if you do it on click, then we should get the effect we want in this case. And then the second thing you can do is in the animation pane, you can do a little drop, not drop down. You can go ahead and click this. And what I want to see is all of these. Oh, sorry, wanted this little arrow. So you see this little double arrow here. You click this and then you can see, and right now these are one, two, three, four. You could actually change these if you really wanted to go from the bottom up and make it so the bottom one is one, two, three, and four. You have all sorts of options. So I would, I would suggest experiment and play and have fun. You can also change the duration. Those are pretty quick side swipes coming in. So I might want to make this one point twenty. Then I'm clicking enter. And in this case, because this is not a transition and it's only on one page, it does not have a, an apply to all button like the transition does. It will only apply to this slide. So now let's select this again to run the show. Okay, click enter, comes in a little more slowly. And there we go. Now let's just for kicks choose a different one for fun. So let's take a look at um, Color Pulse. Now this is interesting. What's going to happen here? Now again, this is going to be on click, but in this particular case, it's going to consider these all the same object, and it's going to color pulse them at one time, like that. So some of these don't really respond to um, the entrance of bringing things in one at a time or having them leave at one time. So let's take and do a fade. Now interesting, what happened is I chose this down here. I want to make sure I choose it at the top. And then I want to come down here and do the fade. So let's preview. Yeah. So I'm going to have to select all of them. So let's come here. And we can select from either. And then come over here into the animations and select fade. And then it should make, OK, it's still doing on click, but let's find out what we can see. This is what I mean. You have to play with this a bit. So I'm going to click and it, it fades that way. So it's not fading in the same way as it entered. And I'll have to do more work. You would have to do more work here to say, well, I want to do it after the previous after the previous and after the previous and see if that makes a difference. It's not really changing the priorities here, but let's see what happens. OK, so that's that's a little better. But again, this is an experimental thing. So the next thing I want to do is just go look at an object. 
an, an image here. And what I would like to do is just have this one come in and do something fun. So let's do a grow and shrink. Ooh, it's growing. And it shrinks. Oh, that looks kind of funny. But in this case, um, it's going to start on click. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this start after previous. Now, what do these mean? On click means that an animation will start when you click your mouse or your tab or your arrow. With previous means that the animation will start as soon as the page transitions in. And after previous is after the page transitions in with some sort of time delay. So say I chose after previous and then I wanted to put it in one second after. And I wanted to make this, I'll leave it at two minutes. And then I'm going to come here. I should be saving my work as I go, by the way. And I'm going to run this particular slide, see what happens. So we're looking at the picture. Now it's growing. And that was it. It simply grew. It didn't shrink, actually. <laughs> but once again, this is one of those things that is, is something you're going to always have to uh, Let's do a color pulse. And then let's, um, this is going to be on click only. So it defaulted back to this. Let's run the slideshow for that slide. Then I have to click it. Now, it's not really doing much here. So that's not always going to be, you know, maybe I need to make it smaller. But I didn't actually see it pulse. So even though, it's, oh, it's a color pulse. And it's not actually changing colors, so that's a bit more of a complex one where you probably have to go in and mess with things. What I thought I'd done is done the pulse. There we go. That's what I wanted, the regular pulse. So now it'll start from on click. There's no delay. But again, maybe I want to bring it in after previous and bring it in one second later. And then enter, run this. And after one second, it should pulse. That's interesting. Let's try again. There we go. <coughs> I'd accidentally clicked enter, which probably short fused it, you know, short, short circuited it. So as you can see, animations are something that you can have some fun with, but you're going to have to have a little patience too. So I recommend that you look at a couple of additional videos of people giving tutorials on how they do different types of animations and transitions, but um, you can have a lot of fun with it. So thanks for staying with me.